guys and welcome back to my channel today we're gonna do a makeup video but before we do uh just quickly i want to update you guys uh if you already subscribed to me if you've seen me before you know i love marshalls if you are new and you love marshalls you might as well just subscribe because i'm always going there and i'm always trying to find those deals those good items and um i decided i'm gonna start blogging whenever i do go so i can show you guys the items that they do have there like this last time and i am so excited for this this last time i went i did record but it was my first time recording outside of my room so it was a little awkward for me but it's something i feel like i can get used to so i did record but like i said it, it's not the best like i kind of like skimmed through it like i was just nervous i was kind of like hmm. But I wanted to do it, you know, I just wanted to know the feeling of it. And I feel like next time I do, I'll be more comfortable where I can individually grab items. Maybe not talk. Maybe I'll do like a voiceover or something to start off while I get comfortable. Um, but I'll definitely start showing you guys more items at Marshalls that I can find. And this last time I did find, because I did go to another Marshalls. The one close by is like 15 minutes away and lately honestly they haven't they haven't been either they're not restocking or it just sells out so fast so i haven't seen any good items and i went um i went to another one that's like 30 40 minutes away from me and i got overly excited because they just had so many new items and i will put some footage um of the marshals and the little things i found and one of them one of them that i did see and i got and i was so happy it's this product look how the packaging guys the packaging is so cute let it focus it's the clean it zero the bathroom bff and this just a big tub just a big tub is like 25 dollars at ulta Ulta does sell this uh, for $25, but guess how much Marshalls is hooking you up for? And there was only like four or five left, maybe. Let me show you guys. $13, $13, that's cheap. And uh, you, you get the, if you guys haven't tried this, I recommend it. It's, um, it's like a makeup remover, I don't know how to say that word a balm balm but it literally just melts the makeup away like it's so smooth i've seen a lot of um makeup artists that do like effects makeup where they wear heavy heavy makeup they just clean it off with this and it just literally just melts it off i recommend it and if you can find it at marshall's it's even better so um this comes with um uh, the the makeup remover and it comes with the foam face cleaner cleanser a uh, foam cleanser that transforms into a rich and moisturized micro foam to deep clean remove to deep clean remove impurities refresh and moisturize skin skin and you also get a beautiful uh da -da 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 -da, like a cloth let me go ahead and open. i've been wanting to open this but I also wanted to show you guys, if you don't shop on Marshalls, you should go once in a while, you get some really good deals. And like I said, I'll put some footage of what I've seen um, at the new Marshalls I went because I seen some good stuff. I didn't get to record everything because halfway at the store, I decided, you know what, maybe I should record. And I was just like mentally preparing, like it's okay, you know, just pretend you're gonna send some footage to your sister or something, I don't know. Uh, oh, okay, but we open this up and see you get a big towel. The box is so cute. I don't need it. It's like I wanted to open it and not open it. Oh, so you get a little, a cute pink towel so you can remove your makeup with this. And you get the spoon so you can like scoop up, the, scoop out the product. You get the big tub. This is a big tub. See? 
It's sealed, it's protected, brand new, $13. Doesn't have a scent to it. And you can see the product. Like it kind of has a little bit, but not too much. And then you get your little foam cleanser. So cute. Also sealed. And no scent to it either. Let's grab a little bit of product. You can see it. It feels thick. And then I guess it just thickens up and becomes foamy. So I'm excited to try this. Today I'm gonna do a makeup look with you guys and then I'll remove it with this so you guys can also see how this works in case you haven't tried it. And then I'll be definitely trying this out, washing my face at night. So, and I also got me a foundation. Um, they had two, I, I didn't record that part, but they did have Too Faced foundation. They had Morphe, they had MAC and Milani. Uh, they didn't have for MAC or Morphe or Too Faced, they didn't have my skin tone. That was kind of like a bummer, but Milani did. I found this one and this one was $3.99. I, I took it off, but it was $2.99 or $3.99, which is not bad either. And it's perfect on my skin. I tried it already because I was running out. But that was a lot of chit chat. Now let's get started with the makeup. Okay guys, and for the makeup, um, I'm honestly sitting here and I can't come up with anything. So I decided we can just recreate this beautiful makeup that I found on Pinterest. And I mean, I had told you guys I was gonna try to give you as many Christmas, holiday makeup ideas as I could, and I haven't. I don't know, I just haven't been on my creative mode. So we're just gonna go ahead and try to recreate this makeup. And I'll do a voiceover so that I don't keep talking. So finally, let's get started. So here I'm starting off by moisturizing my face as we always, always should. Now I'm using the Juvia's Place Concealer and this is gonna uh, prep my lid so we can have a base on our for the eyeshadow. And now I'm just evenly blending it out with an e.l.f. concealer brush. Now I'm going to be using the Whatever palette and this is by Colourpop. And the first color I'm going to be using is this burgundy color and um, it's called Bad Guy. And I'm just going to apply this all over my lid. Now with the clean brush, I'm just blending out the lines, any harsh lines. Now I am going in with this brown and it's called In Bold. And I'm just gonna, I applied it on the outer corner and the inner corner, but um, really you only need it on the outer corner. For some reason, I thought it was like a halo eye, but I checked the picture again and no, you don't, you don't need it on the outer, and the inner corner, sorry. So just the outer corner. <laughs> Now we're switching to the Good As Gold um, palette from ColourPop and the light brown we're gonna use is called State of Mind and we're gonna use that underneath our brow to also blend out the harsh lines from the previous color. And now I am applying some glitter glue and this is by Heart Candy and this is just so that that silver one can look, um, have more like a pigmentation and that gray was from the Jeffree Star. Whoa, I'm going too fast. Uh, it was from the Weirdo palette, and I know it's a lot lighter than the original one, um, but it ends up looking fine. And now I'm just gonna do my eyeliner.
And now for my brows, I'm just using the Makeup Revolution Brow Sculpting Kit and the dark brown color. For my brows, guys, um, I just kind of fill them in and go with the shape and blend. I don't, I don't really do any like professional work on them. <laughs> And now back to the makeup, I just added more of the first burgundy and put it a little bit above because I did go a little too low. Just blended, I went back into that lighter brown to further blend it upwards and then into the dark brown to make that outer corner darker. Now I'm going to be doing my foundation, my face, so I just wanted to quickly show you those clips from Marshalls and that golden box, I didn't grab it but it was the e -Sync I don't, I don't even know how to say that. The East St. Laurent. It was like a palette for $40. And this was when I was first getting started. So you can see I kind of went through it fast as I got comfortable little by little. Those are Anastasia highlighters. Um, this is the lash section. And since it was a little bit more private, I said I felt a little bit more comfortable. That's why I went a little bit slower. And they had a lot of Ardell lashes. These are some big vegan ones some halloween ones um they had some glue and i think that those green ones are from like cara beauty i believe lash glue big boxes of just a lot of selection and right here like i said i was getting comfortable so i actually grabbed a product which i will do next time i promise i promise now this is the brush section you have the brush cleaners you have a lot of face brushes and right now I'm gonna show you ones that I truly recommend and it's these, I have these in purple and they're like the eyeshadow essentials and I have these as well. It's good, I feel like it's really good to have variety for the eyes. And this is like the face section and look, I, they only had like four boxes of those. Um, the top are like just face care, some micellar water, uh birds be the Evi evian the setting spray some face mask oh and that was a cute bubble bear <laughs> and the bottom just another quickly and more face mask and here more people were coming and there wasn't much so the face mask was just like a quick view but they had some cute face masks and now back to the makeup guys here i'm just doing my contour but yes, guys, um, the Marshall videos will get better. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll feel more comfortable with time. <laughs> now I'm going to be using these beautiful Ioni lashes. And I'm just quickly curl, curling my lashes and adding some mascara. Now this is for the bottom lashes and I'm mixing these two colors so I can get like a darker brown, darker burgundy. And yep, just applying that on the bottom of my lash. Now I'm going into the shimmery color. She doesn't have it in the original picture, um, but I always just like to add like a pop of color. So that's definitely optional. Now for the lips, I am using a uh, color pop and this is in the color Chola. I think it was from the Becky G collection. And I'm just adding this as my base. And I went back to those two colors we used for the bottom lashes and I topped off that lip color with that just to make it darker. So we can have that dark lip that she has, or at least something similar. So for my blush, I am using the BH Cosmetic palette. And this is the loose highlighter I was telling you guys about that they had on Marshalls in a pack of four. And guys, this is the final look. I think it's so cute. I just put on a nice warm sweater, let my hair down, and um, and look, I, I love it. Like you can wear this or you or you can do your makeup like this for Christmas, even I think for like New Year's, like 
we can look cute and um well thank you guys so much for watching and if you can help a small business grow they're the ones that install um the extensions i have 22 on she also does lash extensions um you it would be big big help if you can just follow them like the pictures and maybe even share the profile so we can just you know help them grow so thank you guys so much for watching and i hope i can see you on my next video